Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. For most of the last 16 years, I've been focused on the United States temperature record, but now I'm starting to spend more time on the global temperature record. In this video, I'm going to focus on the remarkable weather year of 1878. A global heat wave and drought killed 50 million people in Asia, Africa, and South America. There was a massive El Nino that year, and the Indian Ocean Dipole was active as well, which means drought for India. And 1878 was also the peak year for the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation. There was no winter weather recorded in Minnesota during the winter of 1877 to 1878. If that happened now, academics would say it was a crisis and they were 99% certain it was due to climate change. New South Wales set their all-time record temperature of 52.8 Celsius at Burke on January 17, 1877, and 1878 was also extremely hot, as I'm about to show you. But despite the well-documented global heat of 1878, the Climatic Research Unit of England shows it as below average temperatures. This is very remarkable because they only had coverage of a small percentage of the planet during 1878. They had to have faked the data for the Antarctic, the Arctic, all of Africa, just about all of South America, most of Asia, and most of Australia. You can already see that the global temperature record is fraudulent, but for the rest of this video I'm going to focus on Southeast Australia. The Climatic Research Unit showed Southeast Australia as being just about average temperatures during January 1878. This is once again remarkable because the data shows the exact opposite. This graph shows daily maximum temperatures at Burke, New South Wales during January 1878. They averaged 41.5 degrees Celsius. That's almost exactly 5 degrees Celsius above the long-term average for January at Burke. Average temperatures are the average of the daily maximum and the daily minimum, and during January 1878 it was 30 degrees Celsius at Burke. This is about 3.5 degrees Celsius above the long-term average for January at Burke. Now let's look at the entire year of 1878 in the quadrant which Burke is located in. The Climatic Research Unit shows temperatures there were below average. But the data shows the exact opposite. The average temperature at Burke throughout the year is 20.25 degrees Celsius. But during 1878, Burke averaged almost 2 degrees Celsius warmer than the long-term average. Just to be clear, it says on the chart that the average is Fahrenheit, but it's actually Celsius. The software is a work in progress for me, and I'm adding features and fixing bugs every day. But the software is already proving to be very useful for me. Today I was able to show you the massive fraud behind hiding the heat of 1878. However, data tampering by government scientists will not help out the 50 million people who died in the record heat and drought. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the climate scam for almost 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.